Hello, I'm Steph and I'm an illustrator. For the Alphabet Superset, I'll be working digitally and posting short videos of my process and my thoughts about the illustrations I'm doing. I usually jot down my rough ideas in a small portable sketchbook first. A sketchbook of this size makes it easier to sketch on the go. I even have a carrying case so the pages won't get crumpled up in my bag. My next step is to scan my sketch, load it into Procreate on my iPad, and use the pencil to clean up and add details to my idea. For the letter A, I chose Alter. Alter feels like an appropriate place to start. We come to altars to tune in, to mentally and spiritually prepare ourselves for what's to come, and to contemplate our lives and goals. I think of an altar as a place of peace, in the same way a desk should feel. A space capable of transporting our minds to a thoughtful space, with an energy field that keeps us motivated, self-assured, and comforted. My own altar includes bones, because a gentle reminder that life is fragile and time is fleeting can help keep us on track. Living well and trying to do no harm. Alrighty, I'm gonna try to go unscripted here for a little while because I sound really stiff when I'm reading stuff that I've written. I've been really excited for the last two weeks preparing for the Alphabet Superset project. So excited to see what my fellow artists are doing and I'm gonna be posting um, the finished illustrations on my Instagram. Uh, but I'm also doing these process videos to practice video editing because I've always kind of wanted to do art-related videos on YouTube, and then this just seemed like the perfect opportunity to practice those skills. I also wanted to do process videos just to kind of show how I work. After scanning my sketch into Procreate, I work on the line work and then move on to an underpainting. I kind of do a color comp and then I just work it back and forth like how you would with any other sort of painting. There is a lack of permanence in mistakes that you make, which is great. You can just hit the undo button awesome advancement. Another thing is that I feel like it's a little more eco-friendly. Uh, when I was in school and I would work very traditionally, I would just carry my paint pots with me everywhere. If I was working in oil, there was always kind of toxic sludge to deal with afterward. So throughout illustration school, I kind of got this sense that all of this is kind of wasteful in a sense, um, even though I absolutely love working Traditionally still, I will still do watercolors. And I noticed that a lot of my peers who were working stylistically similarly to me were kind of transitioning into working digitally for the most part. So I started taking classes and transitioning my own process for primarily working digitally. Being able to work so cleanly has really helped to take away my inhibitions about starting projects. I know that there are other people who are working digitally too. I'm especially excited to see my fellow digital artists, their works and illustrations. I've really been enjoying being on the Discord and seeing other small creators and following them on Instagram has given me a better sense of community. I'm not particularly active on social media, so all of this felt a bit daunting at first, but seeing how nice everyone has been to each other on the Discord has been so sweet. Uh, of course, I should have figured that my fellow Struthless YouTube followers would be positive people, uh, but I'm more prone to being shy. That's just my nature. This challenge is perfect for someone like me who needed inspiration and motivation for posting their art. I graduated with a BFA in illustration in 2012, and uh, ever since graduating, I've kind of lacked a artist community. Also, life gets in the way, as they say. Work is always busy, and home life is always busy, so having this project challenge laid out in such an organized and structured, but still very open way has been great. I've been thinking about it as if I'm in a portfolio expansion independent study, 
Uh, it's really helped me in my planning and taking my time management way more seriously. For any young artists doing the Alphabet Superset who see my video and see me working digitally, uh, I just want to let you know, be prepared that there are going to be people who ask you about what you do, and no matter how you try to explain to them, no, I don't just push a button and there's a piece of art. No, I don't work with AI. I draw and then I draw on my computer. There are always gonna be people who try to devalue your talent and devalue all the work that you put in. This is obviously a time lapse. I do not work this fast. Uh, I'll put my stats up like right about here off to the side just to show like I clocked this illustration at almost 16 hours of work on it. And like, that's just, that's just how I work. That's my process. That was a tangent, but basically I just hate thinking of young illustrators being discouraged in the same way that I was. So please, 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 young digital artists and illustrators, do not let people discourage you from doing what you're doing make art, love the art you make, continue to prosper and grow, and just don't let people discourage you. I know that like attitudes in the art space online are very like digital art positive, but just from my perspective, my uh, full-time job is working in a frame shop and I mostly work on uh, fine art and traditional art and I can't tell you how many times when people ask me what I do, they just don't understand. Eventually, I just started telling people that I do poster design, and that seems to satisfy people without needing to go on a big long tangent like I just did. <laughs> I'm gonna speed up the end of this here, because it's basically just me going back and forth, checking my levels, putting in some deeper shadows, working on the highlights. Um, I'm pretty proud of how this illustration came out. If you're still here and you made it to the end of the video, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you like my illustration. If you want to, follow me on Instagram at ZowniArts. I'm hoping to post on Tuesday mornings. Thanks so much and have a really great day. Bye!